If you're younger than 40, you've never seen a volcano eruption in the continental U.S., but older people have. This week in 1980, Mount St. Helens erupted in Washington State. So for our Thursday throwback, weatherman Bob Becker discusses whether the eruption could actually change the weather. The famed Mount St. Helens volcano has been making news headlines again in recent weeks. Clouds and ashes are being shot as high as 50,000 feet into the air. With all this entering our atmosphere, a logical question seems to be, what effects, if any, will this have on our local weather? There are many conflicting opinions on this. What's left of these volcanic clouds enters a higher layer of the atmosphere known as the stratosphere. Up there, they may circle the Earth for several years. Some scientists say these clouds will block out a certain percentage of the sun's rays from ever reaching the Earth. This would result in much colder weather than we normally would have experienced, possibly over the next few years. Others mention that Mount St. Helens is not the first volcano to erupt, and none of the Far East volcanoes have put the world's weather into a deep chill. These theorists tend to call these eruptions simply a drop in the geographical bucket and expect no real long-term effects on any weather patterns. It seems to me not enough evidence has been found to link volcanic activity to weather. With all this talk of cold, look at all the heat records shattered across the nation last summer. No matter how warm or cold upcoming seasons may actually turn out to be, we will never be able to prove volcanic activity had anything to do with it. Therefore, the question of long-term effects on our local weather from this volcano is a question that may not be answered for a long, long time. For TV 12 Tri-State Report, I'm Bob Becker. So can you answer that question mm. now, Patrick? I think a big answer to that question is how long does the uh, volcano erupt? Sometimes it'll erupt for you know two, three, four months, and then that does have a bearing on the mm -hmm. weather. But if it's just one gush, then it usually just has a minor effect. But I wanted to show folks a uh, look at a satellite picture. This is now this is satellite pictures 40 years ago, but you can see the plume wow. coming uh, from, up, and that's from way, way up in the atmosphere. Looking at that plume uh, set off by that volcano, as uh, you know, if it kept erupting and erupting and erupting, then it could have a significant factor. But if it's just one, you know, a uh, little uh, eruption, uh, the chances are uh, it's uh, going to just kind of float through the jet stream and move on through. So very interesting, interesting flash.